Hi guys, the Adventurous Allotment here here. In this video, I'm here in my uh, fruit pot and I'm really, uh, I'm just going to talk about, uh, while I'm looking around really, is I uh, want to talk really about my expectations for the coming year and what I'd like to see from these plants, etc, uh, etc. Et so like, uh, as I'm standing here, I'm going to say, uh, I have high expectations from a strawberry, uh, the, sorry, from the pineapple guava, because as you know, a few weeks back, I mentioned this so many times, it's getting boring, but uh, after the replant, it, it, it responded really well. And uh, it looks really healthy, as you can see. And it even gave me some fruit last year, although, albeit they weren't big and they weren't ripe necessarily, but it gave me some. So um, I just wanted to say, you know, I, my expectations for this this year are quite high um, because it seems to have got a head start. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about um, we've got a, a lot of new uh, growth buds if we can find them so like obviously here you can see there's new growth buds at the end for the leaves and um, this is replicated right around the plant in fact you can see one there as well so uh, so it's like it, and there's one there and it, it's basically ready to go really it's it's it, it's itching to grow and as the light levels get stronger it will want to sort of like put more and more leaves out but I think if this can get in a head start this year, and I mean like a head start leafing out earlier than usual, then of course that will mean fruiting earlier than usual, and that will mean either more time to uh, more time to ripen, or it will be ready earlier, the fruit. So that's my expectations. I expect uh, good things off that this year. But it's not just that. The other thing about this one is, this is, uh, this is obviously a unique variety. It's called unique, it's self-pollinating variety. However, it is still only limited and it would do a lot better with another variety now it's just my luck and of course the person across the way over there also bought a pineapple guava um it was a standard one it wasn't a named variety i don't think it was just um Acaceloiana. now obviously because he's growing one and i'm growing one that's really going to help with pollination so uh, i expect more fruits off that this year i expect fruits for him as well and that's good and that is a good uh, way of doing it and that's got me really excited because i know i know things good things can happen now with this and it's not i'm not just relying on one plant so this is great and we can work together to to get a good crop between us so yeah i'm really excited for that i really think that's going to be an excellent year for that i really do um that's good um as for the fig i don't know um i don't think the fig will um I'm not sure the fig's going to do much um, and the reason is because usually by this point I can see um, which where, where the braver figs are going to be this year there's none on this there's none on this these are second year growth so they should be showing uh, figs there's one there um, there's a few roundabout on the plant but not enough um, it's just there's just not enough to justify that it'll be a good year now i've got to make a go i've got to make some decisions about this really do i get rid of this plant um and replace it with something like uh, a proper grafted brown brown uh, brown turkey or a proper brown turkey cultivar or something else that is good for our climate again uh, i don't know time will tell we'll see what happens in spring but i'm not seeing any sort of uh, i'm not seeing anything that shows me on this plant that it's going to be worth it this year so it might be unfortunately that i have to get rid of this but i will keep you updated on that it's the same story for this pomegranate unfortunately it's not in the best position i am i admit it's in cr claggy wet soil it's not going to do brilliantly it's like it's been in the ground now it's quite it's old enough to have flowered let's put it that way it's it's a nana so it's old enough to have flowered it's old enough to have provided fruit not that the fruit is edible i'm thinking either getting another getting rid of this and getting a pomegranate another pomegranate variety or getting another plant completely um but i would have to amend the soil first i've said this before this is the last year that i'm going to give it a chance uh, i'm not I'm, I'm pretty much drawing the line with it now it's gonna have to go um if it doesn't respond the next one is um this um this is painfully slow it's far slower than i thought it'd be so again i'm gonna to have to keep an eye on it i've got no i've got no problems with this i'm just gonna to have to let it uh, do its own thing it's been very slow though so i'm not worried about it right now i'm just gonna let it do its thing um not an issue um 
the citrus is uh, an excitement um, we'll see what happens with that this year it's been it's really uh, held up well this winter there's no damage on it it's looking healthy but we'll see whether it gets flowers and fruit this year and they should emerge soon so I'm not going to I'm not worried about that it's all good um, all this here I'm happy with that that keeps on growing that's fine I'm happy with it I, I will just keep on uh, that as it is no problem um, the uh, Chilean guava I don't really need to say much about that I, I think that it will again there'll be a great a great year for it it's constantly constantly producing ridiculous amounts of fruit every year and this year won't be any different I'm sure of it so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that um, as it is I'm gonna let it grow out a bit and obviously I'm not worried about that at all that's fine the next one of course is my grapevine here this is the grapevine this is a uh, one I've mentioned I did train it it's sort of it's been trained I I expect that this one will uh, may provide me with the first flowers um, but that's not really what I'm going to be worried about this year again it's still in the training process so I have to grow it along here again right away along and also I'm gonna have I'm gonna do a double cordon um, type a double uh, watch cut so it's gonna be also along there um, so basically it's all about training this year if I get fruit then fair fair play there won't be much obviously so uh, it's not really worth worrying about but I think this should go strength to strength, that's a good one. The strawberry tree, um, yes, it, it's really, it's doing well, I have to say. Um, by this time last year, all the fruits were blackened because of frost, or at least I think it was a bit later actually, but providing we get no frost, these will continue to develop, and I should have an excellent, an excellent uh, bounty of fruit next year. We will see, so uh, pleased with that. Uh, yeah. And, and really, uh, that's it for the fruit, and that's my expectations. I'm, I am expecting to put it that way. I'm expecting, um, and I think it will do well. So yeah, these are my main fruit plants, and these are the ones I'm looking at more than any other. So yeah. Anyway, uh, thought you'd be interested to hear my expectations for the coming year, what I expect to happen, what I want to happen, um, and yeah, I'll speak to you uh, again soon. Thanks for watching this video. Um, please a like, please subscribe, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have some good news to report next year. So, yeah. Um, anyway, see you later. Bye.